guys welcome back to my channel for another video it's coupons with abby happy monday i hope you guys are having a terrific start to your week so we're at cvs to talk about the deals from december 5th through the 11th so if you guys are interested i would love if you would stick around and watch i did skip out on cvs last week because my crts were just not aligning with the current sales so it was just in my best interest to just skip CVS entirely, um, but we're hoping to redeem ourselves this week and have some pretty decent deals. My CRTs are once again looking a little slow this week. I don't know what the deal is, but I got a couple of good deals on my list. Also, we are working with our free beauty bucks we got from doing the 12-day beauty event a couple of weeks ago. Now, if you remember in my previous CVS haul about two weeks ago, I counted a portion of the beauty bucks in that haul, but I never counted the full amount that I got back a couple of days ago. So I will go over towards the end exactly how much beauty bucks I have today that is free that I did not count as a reward earned a couple of weeks ago because there was quite a bit that I did not count. So I believe it's about eight or nine dollars, but we'll go over that more in depth later on. But some free money to work with. We're definitely going to splurge a little bit today. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get in store and talk about some of these deals. So I'm starting with my side account today. I'm going to go ahead and start with the spend 30, get back a $10 extra buck household promotion. I'm going to grab two of these Tide Pods. They're on sale for $4.99 each this week. We have a three off two paper coupon from the December PNG. We also have a three off two Tide digital coupon that will glitch with this. Last two things for my spend 30 are the Huggies. We love when the Huggies are a part of the spend 30 deal. So they are two for 22. We do have a $2 digital coupon we can use on one package. And I have a two off 12 diaper CRT I sent to my car. So all four products total me $31.98. We're using the $2 digital for the Huggies, the 2 off 12 diaper CRT I sent to my card, the 3 off 2 paper coupon for the Tide Pods, and that 3 off 2 digital coupon for the Tide that will glitch, leaving me to pay $21.98 out of pocket. I'll get back a $10 extra buck and I'll submit my receipt to the coupons.com app for a $2 coupon reimbursement on my second package of Huggies that had no coupon, making the final cost for all four products just $9.98 or $2.50 a piece. Last scenario on my side card, very minimal today. We are going to do the spend 15, get back a $5 extra buck on Herbal Essence, Pantene, or Head & Shoulders products. So I'm going to go for the Head & Shoulders. They're two for 12. I do have a three off two paper coupon from the December PNG, as well as a three off two digital coupon that should glitch. So we aren't at $15 with just the Head & Shoulders alone. So I'm throwing in the Herbal Essence Bio Renew. That is two for 12. Make sure you grab the Bio Renew variety. I've made the mistake before where I didn't grab that and did not get the extra buck because I bought the wrong variety. So with the Herbal Essence, I have a four off two paper coupon from the December PNG and a four off two digital coupon that will hopefully glitch. So all four hair products total me $24. We have the four off two Herbal Essence paper and digital coupon, the three off two head and shoulders paper and digital coupon. I'll also be working with a three off three hair care CRT and a two off 12 Pantene Herbal Essence Aussie CRT. Now we can use again the three off three and the two off 12 because only one requires to meet a certain spend amount whereas the other is meeting a product amount. So we're safe to use both. So that would lead me to pay $5 out of pocket for all four products. I'll get back a $5 extra buck, making all four completely free. So like I said, that's all I want to grab on my side card today. We're going to move on to the main card, but first I wanted to show y'all with the beauty event. We were getting 10% cash back on beauty purchases for the last 12 days, about a week or two ago. And I received a $13 beauty buck on this specific account. But I had counted some of that into my final cost as a reward earned in my last CVS haul. So that left me with $6.85 I did not count out of that $13 I received back. I hope that's not confusing. 
but basically it means I have $6.85 of free money that I never counted as a reward earned. So we are working with that today. So hopefully that'll make for a pretty decent deal to get some of this cost down. Moving on to my main account, I'm going to do a oral care scenario. So hopefully I don't lose y'all along the way. We are doing multiple deals in this scenario. So I'm going to start with the Oral-B battery toothbrushes. We hardly ever get deals on those and battery toothbrushes are our preferred way to go. So they are buy to get back a $4 extra buck this week and they're on sale $6.99 each. I'm going to grab two and use a $2 Oral-B battery toothbrush digital coupon as well as a $2 battery toothbrush paper coupon from the December P&G. Then we have the Oral-B manual toothbrushes buy three get back a $5 extra buck on sale $3.99 each. So I'm going to grab three of those. I have a five off three Oral-B digital coupon and I have a $2 Oral-B manual toothbrush digital coupon. I'm thinking that will glitch with the five off three considering the five off three is probably going to attach to two of those toothbrushes, leaving room for that $2 coupon to attach to the third item. So we'll see how that goes at the end. And to finish up the oral care scenario, I'm going to grab one of these Scope 1 liter mouthwashes. They are $3.99 each this week on sale. Buy one, get back a $2 extra buck, and I have a $1 digital coupon. All right, so all of these products total us $29.94 before coupons. I'm throwing in a 7 off 30 Crest Scope Oral B Sierra TSN to my card and a 5 off 3 Crest Scope Oral B CRT as well. So with the total being $29.94 before coupons, that 7 off 30 will actually still come off for me because I'm within the 98% of $30. Um, and then after all the digital coupons, paper coupons that we went over, I should be left to pay $5.94 out of pocket. Get back $11 in extra bucks, four for the battery toothbrushes, five for the manual toothbrushes, and $2 for the mouthwash, making everything completely free and a $5.06 moneymaker. One deal I had to pass on today that would have been a nice $3 moneymaker is the Hallmark cards. The last couple weeks they've been buy three, get back a $3 extra buck, and they've been working on those 99 cent cards. Um, I assumed by now that CVS would start carrying some 99 cent Christmas variety cards. They don't. My store only has 2.99 variety. And if I had grabbed four of the 2.99 cards with my three off four Hallmark CRTs I had, it would have been a cost, and I don't think a cost is worth it for Hallmark cards I get for free all the time, so... I passed on that, but if you have some decent Hallmark CRTs this week, definitely consider it with that promotion because you'll probably come out with a money maker. All right, so my last deal for the main card is the Spend 30, Get Back a $10 Extra Buck Household deal again. I'm going to start by grabbing one of the Scott 1000 toilet papers at $8.99. I have no coupons for this product. I'm also going to grab two of these Airwick Twin Refills. They're buy one, go in half off. So one would be $7.59 for me and the other would be $3.80 at half off. I have two of these $2.75 printable coupons. They are no longer available and they are about a day expired. And then I have a $1.50 Airwick app only coupon I sent to my card as well. And lastly, we're going to throw in the Tide Pods again because it's such a good glitch. Y'all know the deal. We're going to use a 3 off 2 paper coupon and the 3 off 2 digital. And those Tide Pods are on sale $4.99 each. So all five products total me $30.36. We have the $1.50 Airwick app only, the two $2.75 Airwick printable coupons, and the 3 off 2 digital and paper coupon for the Tide Pods leaving me to pay $17.36 out of pocket. I'll receive a $10 extra buck and submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each of the Airwick refills, making the final cost just $5.36 for all five or $1.07 per item. So that's literally everything I wanna grab at CVS, at least for today. Just not a lot happening on my end, but hey, I still think it turned out to be a great haul. Now on my main card with the Epic Beauty Bucks, I did count some of that cost into my last CVS haul. 
I got back a total of $5 in beauty bucks, but since I had counted some of that as rewards earned previously, I went ahead and did the math and that left me at $2 that I did not count as a reward earned. So $2 up for grabs, free money that I'm gonna use today to help pay down some of this cost. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out and then I will talk to you guys at home about the receipt, the transaction, and the final cost of everything. All right, so I'm back home from CVS. Everything went really well at the register today. No issues, none of that. Yeah, it's just kind of slow for me. This haul is just really small. My CRTs are not the greatest with the sale weeks. I skipped last week because I could not make any deals work for me. I think I came with maybe two or three deals, but it's not worth driving 30 minutes each way for me to go for two or three deals. You know, I... I just did not want to do that, so I skipped out last week, and then I sent a couple of CRTs to my card from last week that I got, hoping that maybe this week it would work my benefit. No, not really, and the new CRTs weren't much better either, so, I mean, I'm glad we get CRTs. I love that we are able to stack CRTs with paper coupons, but it just was not working in my favor this week, so we just did it plain and simple, but I really want to go this week for the Tide Glitch everybody's gonna be on that deal this week that deal is gonna be I'm surprised that at my store today they had the amount they did I know there's other couponers at my store and I don't know if they know about the whole glitchuation but that tide deal if I had four or five cards I'd run that deal all week and hopefully they run that deal next week I haven't even looked at the ad for next week but yeah so everything went super good i did four separate transactions two on each card so we're going to go ahead and look at that we'll start looking at the receipts so my first transaction i did my side card first and we did all the hair care the head and shoulders and herbal essence so there's my four dollar herbal essence three dollar head and shoulders and then those digitals did glitch the three off three hair and the two off 12 pantene aussie or herbal essence crt I rolled a $4.99 extra buck, leaving my subtotal at a penny, and I did get back the $5 extra buck right there, which I did roll into my second transaction on my side card, which was my spend 30 deal with the Huggies and the Tide products. So we have the $3 coupon for the Tide, the $3 digital for the Tide glitched, my $2 digital for the Huggies, my two off 12, and then I rolled all these extra bucks. Some of them are weird denominations because of doing CVS Black Friday. So that left my subtotal at $1.80. And for this, we did get back the $10 extra bucks. So that was all I did on the side card, just the Huggies and the hair care. Moving on to the main card, my first transaction was all of the oral care. So we did the electric toothbrushes, the manual toothbrushes, and the scope mouthwash. My $2 coupon for one of the electric toothbrushes, my five off three oral care digital, that $2 manual toothbrush digital did glitch like I assumed it would. So I'm assuming that five off three, since those toothbrushes are the value of $3.99 each, that $5 digital is not gonna attach to one because that value of this product does not meet the value of the coupon. It would attach to two, leaving room for the third one to not have a coupon attached to it. So that's why I was assuming that $2 digital would attach to that because the third one did not have a coupon attached to it. So that is a nice little glitch. And of course, you could also throw in the $2 paper coupon if you wanted instead of using the digital. But whichever you prefer, uh, where were we? The $2 digital for the battery toothbrush and then my seven off 30 and my five off three you do not see the one dollar digital though for the crest scope mouthwash i don't know why that didn't come off i'm gonna have to check again and see if i actually clipped it because maybe i forgot to clip it but at least it was only a dollar that i lost and then i rolled a five dollar extra buck for my first transaction so my subtotal should have been 94 cents but it was a dollar 94 um because the one dollar digital for the scope did not come off but you will see I did get back my $2 extra buck for the scope, $4 for the two electric toothbrushes, and $5 for the three manual toothbrushes. So that was a great oral care situation. No toothpaste. I don't want toothpaste right now. I have no desire to grab it. 
And then my last transaction on my main card was my Spend 30 with the Scott, the Tide, and the Airwick products. We have the $3 coupon for the Tide and my two two seventy five dollars coupons for the Airwick that are expired and no longer available on coupons.com. My $3 Tide Digital Dig Glitch, my $1.50 off Airwick app only coupon. And then I rolled all of these extra bucks, leaving my subtotal at $1.16. And I believe, yes, we did. We got our $10 extra buck for that. So there was no coupons on the Scott, but, you know, working with my free beauty bucks today and then the couple of money makers I had, especially on that oral care, you know, it got me to the, it got me to where I wanted to go ahead and throw in the Scott because I knew I'd be paying little to nothing today. Now I did count those free beauty bucks. I counted a portion of them in my last CVS haul. Um, so the portion I did not count for my side card was $6.85. I did not count as rewards earned back. So $6.85 I was working with for free money on my side card. My main card, I had $2 I did not count as a reward earned, making that free money in my eyes. So just to clarify that. So on my side card... Like I said, $6.85 was free money, so really I spent $20.22 out of my own pocket because I deducted that $6.85 from my cost because that was not a reward earned in my eyes that I did not count that. Um, we got back a total of $15 in extra bucks on my side card in the deals today. I did submit to the coupons.com app for a $2 reimbursement on the Huggies, which it was weird that it was not giving me $2.00 cash back for the snug and dry but it would for the little movers so I don't know what the heck's up with that so that made the final cost for my side card a three dollar and 22 cent cost which hey I'm okay with for diapers my main cards out of pocket was twenty two dollars and 29 cents that's deducting the two dollars in free money from the beauty bucks we got back a total of twenty one dollars in extra bucks from the deals done today and I submitted over to Ibotta for two dollars back on each of the Airwick Plus, I got 20 cents for uploading any receipt. So that made the final cost for my main card completely free and a 91 cent moneymaker. So in total, everything today, just sale price, would have cost $116.28. But that left our final cost at $2.31 or 12 cents a piece for 19 items. I cannot complain about considering we got four Tide Pods. Toilet paper. The Huggies. I mean, these Airwigs are seven bucks a piece, my lord. So I'm really happy with the $2 cost. Now, if I could have got the Hallmark, obviously, and had that $3 money maker, we would have had a money maker today. But I thought it was weird. They just didn't have the 99 cent cards anymore. They had the 99 cent Halloween cards. They had the 99 cent cards for, for um, Easter. But Christmas, they want us to spend money. And I'm not spending $2.99. I don't want to cost on Hallmark cards. I think that's silly in my eyes. I don't want to pay for a Hallmark card that I know I've gotten for free months and months on end. So that is that. I will have my printable list down in the description box if you guys want to follow along with these deals. Let me know if you're doing any CVS couponing this week. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.